G'day guys, welcome back to another video with me and Stray. I'm going to be talking like this because people at home I'm trying to keep quieter. Ignoring that, let's get into it. This will probably be the last video in this game. Look at this. Just the visuals in this game never never disappoint, that's for sure. And we are at our stop. Yes, which door? Which door is going to open this one? Nice, great. Look at this. Look at here. Everything's so much more clean. Look how clean and fixed you are. Like an entirely whole robot without any spare parts. Even though I just finished editing the last part yesterday, I can't remember where I left off. Like at all. Oh yeah, we were in the jail right at the end of it. There was a chase scene after unlocking the gates and then we ended back in the midtown which led us back to the train where it took us like 10 years to figure out how to put the battery in the train because it was bugged and now we're here after going on the train we're in this very 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 clean nice place i am currently painting this area please be careful of the wet paint have a nice day thank you you're very kind what do you have to say for yourself greetings inhabitant of walled city 99 Okay, is that what this place is called? I didn't even read the title as it came past. God, this place is so different from the last, from the other parts of this game. What is that? Oh my god, this gives me like massive Wally vibes. Oh my god, look at all that. Is that like the different parts of the game? Is that with the Zergs or is that just like a different colored part of the city? And this is the control room. Can, can we go in it? No? This one, there we go. Attack it. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It seems that only humans are authorized to enter. Hmm. I doubt we're going to see any humans though. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive. Security protocol. Maybe if we work together we can open this passageway. Maybe. Maybe. What the fuck do I do? Well, hello. It's one of you guys. Okay, so where, the, where do we go? Go over here, maybe? City sealed. This door leading to the surface is currently locked. Please refer to certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. That's, um, that's very helpful and didn't really help me at all. I'm just trying to look if there's anywhere I can, like, jump up on or need the little robot dude. So there's a little thing right here which I can't even access, which is great. But how do I get into it? That's the problem. Okay, so go on here, buddy. There you go. That was not very obvious at all. <laughs> I did put him right next to it, but it, it didn't do it at first. But I guess, I guess with a second try, it actually did something. Oh, I see. Okay, it's a timer then. Yes, break it. Yes, nice one. Okay, well that was pretty simple. It'd be nice if there was like direction to do that, but you know, whatever is fine, totally. We got a cutscene, maybe? This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here. And it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom. Why did you switch like that? Freedom to move? Little good, it did them. Yeah. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying. And they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I love. Oh, what is with the movement? I haven't had that problem all game. <laughs> right, so do we just have to find a button to open up the doors? Because I feel like that's the only thing we have to do. Flasher, go over to it. There we go. So there's the flashing light. This is it, the main computer. It can't be that easy, right? Something's gonna stuff up and I have to go on this little adventure to fix it all. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from a long time ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll be able to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for the passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Okay, what 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 do you want me to do? Okay, let's uh, let's turn them on then. I I can't move. I'm stuck on a chair. Who put me on a chair? Do I just need to walk on them? Oh, I see. Fairly simple. Well, 
This surely can't be how you turn on the machines, right? Stepping on the keyboard. Stepping on the keyboard. Stepping on the keyboard. There we go, it's all done, bitch. It worked. Good job, my friend. I found it. What do you find? I know how to open the city. Something's off. Well, that's what I just said. Something had to be off. Because this is a whole chapter. We can't just open some, like, turn on some computers and then open the thing. And that's, that's it. That's the end of the game. There has to be something else to it. Wait. Maybe there's a way around it. No. Yep, system is locked. There you go. There. That's the workstation to open this. Yep. See? I have to go and do something. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Awesome. That's a very unbreakable mug. Oh, something here? Maybe? Oh, yeah, that worked somehow. Let's break it. Yes, yeah, scratch it, scratch it like you did before. Nope, nope, there's. Wait a second, I think I saw something. What is that? There's something right there. There's something right there. Why do I need this? There we go. Scratch, 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 and break, break. There we go. Is there another one? There would have to be, right? There has to be one right here, because there's a thing. Oh, there we go. Maybe? There's one still blocked there. Ooh, I don't think that worked. The system is taking more than I expected. Oh, oh, that's great. Good job. Nice. I think we did a great job there. We, we took, oh, look at my camera. It actually looks good for once. It sounds glary. Oh no, we've got to keep going. Does it nod at me? No, these ones don't nod at me. Oh, I see, okay. Maybe we have to do all two of these ones and then we can access the other one. Maybe. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open the workstation. Oh my god, you're like red and smoking. Because that's the only one we need and I don't know how to access it. Oh, that. Maybe. There we go. Maybe. Scratch it. Scratch it, yes. Yes, I'm a genius. I figured it out. I'm fucking amazing. It'd be nice if my camera was like that, kind of. Yeah, like that, but no, it, it needs to be glary and make me look like I'm a, a vampire. I think this little buddy is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workshop and we can disable that alarm. Right. Uh, what are we gonna do with you after that? I got you in my mouth. Is that the workshop? Where, where is the workshop? It's obviously not over here, considering that's not gonna open for me. Uh, that did something. That's it, we're safe. Right? What else? Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software, but I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer. And the consequences it could bring. I knew this was gonna happen. Either the cat was gonna die, or or he was gonna die. Like, and they wouldn't kill the main character off like that, because that's just not what happens. So, this was fairly obviously gonna happen. Sorry, we won't be able to see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions and you. Here, let me take that off of you. You are my friend, the very best I could ever ask for. Thank you. That's sad. But, I mean, you could still go in the system, maybe.
why did the game have to be like that? <laughs> it didn't have to do us like that. It has right in the gut, right in the, the sad spot. Look at that. So there was a plague that made this whole shelter thing happen. Are the Zerks gonna die? Are they gonna pop? <laughs> Look at them, they're all gonna pop. Bye. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, everyone's a robot now, so I don't see why they can't live out outside. Look at that. Sunlight for the first time in the entire game, besides the start. Okay, the sentinels got done right up the arse. Look at that. We're still laying there next to him. That's sad. I don't want to just leave him there. Why don't we just pick him up? Why don't we just pick him up? Come on, just pick him up. You know, you gotta pick him up. Why don't, why don't just pick him up? We need him. We don't, we don't want to leave B12. We need B12 here with us. Or at least, like, take a bit of him and put it on you as, like, a... Not a souvenir. It's like a thing to remember him by. My god, look at all that. God, the end of games are always so sad. There's Resident Evil is sad. It's just sad. It's like, it's got a, a bright horizon, but it's it's very sad. Great job. Look at all that. Fuck on hell. It looks so much smaller from up here. You don't need to be here anymore, guys. You can leave, I think. Possibly. I don't know why you'd want to. Ooh, big dusty doors. He moves. Look at all the moss, my god. I don't want the game to be over. I haven't played it in so long, but... Ugh, just playing it this little bit has gotten me back into it. We're gonna meet up with our family again, our friends. Look at that, that looks so nice. This whole game just looks... Perfect. Oh, look at the plants. Look at all this. The butterflies. Ooh, birds. <laughs> this looks so nice. My god, this game is amazing looking. Don't end it just like this, don't. You can't just end it like this. No, don't end it like this. You can't end it like this. No, you... Did you see the lights? Maybe B12 is alive. Oh, come on, you can't end it like that. Gonna show us, like, everyone, like, leaving, or him, him, like, the cat finding his family again. Now I want another game. <laughs> That was so nice, that was such a great experience. I loved all the neon colours of it all and even though I my first four or five videos did get messed with, with uh, OBS deciding not to record the audio, uh, that, that was just, that was great. I didn't need to have it recorded and uh, uploaded on my channel to enjoy it. I don't really know what they could do for a second game, but maybe like a DLC might be alright, but again, I don't really know what they'll be doing, besides having a cat running around with more cats. Or maybe they could make a, a small DLC finding the family or whatever, or like, the events after the game. But the Zerks are all dead, so there's no real threat or anything. Or maybe the, the, there could be a bigger threat outside. Like, there couldn't have just been like a plague, and that's why they made this giant dome. And that's why everyone looked like themselves inside. And where did the humans go? Did they just die? What happened to them? They must have just died. And did they get transferred into the robots? Like, or were they separate entities? I feel like there needs to be more answered unless I just haven't, you know, got it all from the game. But that, that was so good. Something that makes things really good is like a death or a sacrifice at the end of things. So B12 dying there, though sad, it, but much. Made, made the game like... It's just like the, the cherry on top of the cake. But it is probably not dead. And the fact that they showed that at the end there probably suggests that there, there was, is going to be a bit more, maybe, possibly. Because why else would at the end, when we finish seeing the main character, the, the cat, why would it pan out and lose focus on the cat, but then 
get really clear on some monitors and they turn on why else would they show that it'd be a bit pointless oh that's so sad i don't, I don't want it to be over oh i don't want it to be over I was kind of hoping the game would do well on my channel so I could come back and do the, the first part of the game again, um, but at the moment it's not really worth it. I mean I'd love to do it but it's just not really worth it and I don't really like watch like doing things again when I've just finished them. I mean if they're great sure but in a way it kind of feels like I'm pasting another set of memories over memories I've already had so I don't really like going back over it. But I think we started from here, so 7 all the way to 12, and we lost footage from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 7, which, you know, I think I think this one was probably one of my favourites, and, and this one, that's excluding the, like, the sewers and everything, stuff that we actually did get to put in there. I'd probably give this game, like, a, probably a 9 out of 10, I mean, I don't really like rating things, but I think, I think it was really good, I loved it. It's just funny that I wasn't even planning to get the game to, to start with. But then I did, and I don't regret it at all. But yeah, so that was, uh, that was Stray. Hope you guys enjoyed. If anyone actually does see this or watch this at some point, or maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I get popular or people find my channel in the future, that, you know, they will come back and watch something like this, because, you know, or else it, it kind of feels like I've done it for nothing. But at least I've got my memories of it, and I can come back and watch this whenever I want to. Have a nice one.